All right, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to make a few uh, <clears throat> cool effects. I was using Convertry and I uh, was trying to make them, but uh, I couldn't get the result I wanted in Convertry. I had problems with layering uh, not functioning correctly. So, like, even buttons like this, I couldn't do them properly in Convertry because sometimes I made another video on this. You might if you look in the description, I think I have a link to it. Um, Showing you the issues in Convertry if you're a Convertry user. If you go back and forth sometimes, your, your whole button will disappear. Or just, or see, in this case, when I put the button over here, it's supposed to be pink normally. Convertry sometimes will flip the colors as you're moving around and, and sometimes completely just make your button disappear. So I, I used um, HTML coding to do these in CSS. And same thing with these um, the logo here. I have a, a, an effect right? with the logo zooms in, kind of fades in and like fades in and zooms in as well at the same time, and then pop, pops out another logo. And I have a, I just made it so that it shifted, it rotates the ball and it moves it so far, so it goes right on top of the um, this animated gif here. So that's one effect I did, and I'm going to show you how I did those. And the other one is uh, this button, uh, the buy now button. I got the girl spinning with shopping bags, and it uh, looks like she's popping right out of the um, edge of the button there. And uh, when that's done with a, a GIF that I made, I made a, a GIF image there. Um, actually, I, I had a movie file of the girl on a green screen, screen background, and then I removed the background color, and then I converted it to a GIF. And then, same thing with the, this the girl, when you put the mouse over it, the girl fades in with the guitar. Okay, so this is a um, pretty cool buy now button. She's she's also a, an animated gift. Um, and you can do anything in here, you know, but that's sort of how this was made. So it's the same kind of idea. You put your mouse over the uh, animations occur, the girl playing the guitar. This one's just always going, it's just a loop. And the way this button is made, it's in layers. Um, there's actually... I, I did it with, um, like, I tried to do something like this in Convertry to make it easier, but I couldn't, I just couldn't get it to work right. There's just too many problems with layers and layering in Convertry. So I had to do it all with coding. And, uh, plus Convertry doesn't have animations built in, which is not a lot you can do, so you have to do a lot of this in coding. Uh, it'd be nice if they came out with that, eventually. So, um, yeah, th what happens when I'm putting the mouse, my, my mouse over this button, there's actually a transparent layer on, t on the top, I believe I had. And then the reason for that is, um, is sort of, I have commands in my software, in, the, in the, uh, the CSS that say once I'm on top of that transparent layer, the girl on the guitar will fade in. Once I, and when I pull out of that transparent layer that you can't see, she'll fade back out. So, if I didn't have the transparent layer in there, um, um, and I just had one layer, when she fades in, it would change the layers, and it might mess up um, the effect of coming in and out. Uh, I'm not sure if you understand that, but anyway, that's what worked best for, for what I did. And uh, so once I created the code, I went into my editor, and this is my Convertry editor. So I just took a, um, and if anyone has Convertry, you can do this with any website. Builder, and anywhere you can plop in HTML, and I'll show you. So normally you'd have a box like this, right? And it's just you could put HTML in there. So what I did is I wrote the code for this button. I um, I'll, I'll pop it in. I'll, I'll just show you what I did here. Actually, I have the code right here, somewhere here. That's one of them. I have a few buttons. That that another one, where just a square image of the girl comes out. But then I did editing on the girl. Where I move all that black back on there, so she's transparent, and this is the end result right here. So this is the code. This is the code for that. Um, it's uh, so all like HTML and CSS. So um, if anyone's interested in the code, hit me up. I can probably help you there. And uh, you could change the images if you want, or, or you know. Um, so that's how, how I did that. I, made, I wrote the code, and then I copied all this code here. And then I went into um, here. Okay, so let's copy that code. I'll just select all. Okay, copy. And I'm going here, and into this box, I can paste the code. 
It's, um, and again, this is common in a lot of the website builders. So that's the code for that um, button. Okay, there it is. And then I could just move it around, I guess. Let's size this little box. There you go. I have another uh, box of the uh, girl spinning around. Okay, so that's how I made the button. Okay, and then, of course, there's button properties. Um, like where this button links to, because when you click it, it's got to go to a page. Well, that's also, uh, sorry, that's also done in this code here. The bottom, I put it in um, the, um, here. Uh, so it, um, I believe it's the first one. My graphics by now PNG, that's just the graphic. And, um, yeah, I think I have it going. I think that's where I have it going. In one of in in, in the actual uh, site, I made of changes, but this this is just linking. So this could be your URL to wherever you want to buy it. Buy now to link to, right? And um, and because there's a few layers, I think I have it duplicated here. Um, it's been a while since I did this code, so sometimes you start you slowly start forgetting. So I think I have my my link in four spots. It's the same link. And here, I believe. And so that is how it's done. So one of these is a GIF. Another one's a GIF. The girl and the guitar, the girl spinning is a GIF. And um, if I remember which one this one was, the button. That's the button, I think. The button now button itself. And, um, and, it, and then there's two colors of the button now button. Because when you put the mouse over, you get shades. I think I have another one here. Buy now button. So that's how it is. And then um, that's I think this is the transparent layer on the top. Can't really see it unless I just to um, change the color. And this this has a class, a CSS class or an ID. I used IDs this time. And um, so all the stylings up here, right? And the CSS codes up for all these buttons and um, stuff. So, if, you know, if you're a coder, this is probably easy for you to understand. If not, um, you're interested in adding this in, I can probably send you the code if you want the code. And you can make your own, you can modify it, play around with it a bit, and make your own button, change your button, uh, make your own button with some kind of cool effects. So, that's all I did in Convertry to, to make this happen. And then, of course, I published it. And the end result, this is the published page. Looks like this, right? So... So it works out pretty good. Same thing with this. Um, also, I have the code for this. Uh, you want to make your logo zoom in and out like that a bit and then have something shoot out. So, and I'll code for this, the buttons. These are, depending on which program you're using, these might be fairly easy to make, but sometimes some of the animations are hard. Depends which program you're using. So I hope this is helpful. This is my solution to one of the problems I had in Convertry because I couldn't do uh, really good layering on buttons and stuff. I was finding sometimes a button would disappear or just, you know, I just wouldn't be in the normal mode, you know, when I'm going over in and out on the button. So, and anybody who has Convertry has any feedback from me or if they had that same issue, it'd be interesting to know. Okay, so I hope you like this video. And uh, I think I have some links to... Um, some of the layering problems I did have in Convertry and the descriptions below this video should be a link. So go ahead and uh, click the like, but like button uh, if you want to like this channel. And now see some more. I'll probably put some more other help uh, help uh, videos up there uh, on different topics and you know web design or marketing related. And hopefully they'll be helpful helpful to you. So okay, I'll sign off for now. Bye for now.